Hello everyone, my name is Gregory Scott and this is your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 29th of May 2014 and I'm using the Wheel of the Year deck today and I'm going to give you an insight into what you can expect and what you'll be working with and how you can really get the best out of the day. So it's always really nice to be with you and it's a real pleasure to be able to do these readings for you. So let's have a look at what's important today, what needs to be seen, what needs to be clear and okay. The first card is the lovers, I'm sorry it's the devil, oh that's interesting, okay it's the devil first card and that's interesting because yesterday in um, at the end of yesterday's reading was the lovers and that was very much about um, taking an idea, coming together with something to create something bigger than yourself. And that happened so strongly on Wednesday evening, sort of at the end of the day, that you overshoot the mark a little bit on Thursday morning. So you find something that you become so enamored with, so um, connected with, that you lose sight a little bit and you start, start to think that this thing that you've discovered in your life, whether it's a person or an idea or an institution, that without it you'd be lost and you become bound and um, obsessed with it. And the truth is that you only had this idea very recently and you've been fine your whole life without it. And the reason you had the idea anyway is because you connected with your higher self, you connected with the universe and you asked for help and you looked at... Um, what does my spirit want me to do? And then this thing appeared out of the ether and came into your life to help you. And now you're thinking that um, you're becoming so attached to it, you're thinking that um, you wouldn't be able to manage without this thing. So what that means basically, in basic terms, is that you go into your ego and you start to rely on something in the physical world for your good. Whereas your good comes from the unseen, it comes from the universe. So the guidance here, the way to heal this, is to switch that thinking and to reconnect with spirit. The next card is the two, uh, the second card of the major arcana, it's the high priestess, and that's in reverse, okay? And that means take action around your fears, don't let them just sit there and don't just wait for them to go away, but face them head on. If you don't face them head on, you'll start to feel like there's something wrong with you, there's something missing, um, you're not yourself, and it's a day of correction really. So. You connect with the ego again on this day. Um, you start to think that you're controlled by your circumstances. By challenging that belief, you become yourself and you get you return to peace. And that's it, really. So um, it's more. It, it's a day that's more about you and the way you think. And it's a process that more often you do this. You know this ego correction. The more adept you become at it, and the less you become attached to things and the less you go off course. So we live in a world of duality. This is a constant back and forth, ego, spirit, ego, spirit, ego, spirit. And the more you practice it, the better you will get at it. So it's a good day in terms of practicing and just navigating your life the way you usually would. Have a wonderful day and I'll be with you again tomorrow.